Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. What I've guessed today is this week's Enter Reset. As always, if you're looking for anything specific, check out the description below. There's going to be timestamps over there, so finding things is going to be much easier. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video or find it helpful, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more videos, and let's get right into this. Uh, starting off first, you want to check out the Special Blueprints Avenger, and the first thing I would recommend buying from him is this Pro Red Dot Side Blueprint. Honestly, this thing is awesome to have on your character if you are making multiple builds if you don't have a really good scope on your character or your guns. Instead of going out farming for them, you could just craft whatever you need with critical hit damage, critical hit chance, headshot damage, anything like that. Uh, so again, if you're missing this, if you don't have this on your character, 100% buy it right now. Next up, you want to start by the special equipment vendor still at the base operations, and the first thing you want to look at is this liberator. What it comes with is 20% enemy armor damage, 267 gear score, and for the talents it has responsive, destructive and capable um in my opinion this is a bit more for pve it does have responsive it does have destructive the only thing you really have to do is get rid of capable uh go for ferocious unforgiving vicious or deadly all those talents will be pretty good on this and again uh, for pve this thing will not a few spots down you want to check out this cassidy what it comes with is 323 percent stagger 282 gear score and for the talents it has responsive capable and the boomstick exotic talent this, in my opinion, is also for a Lone Star build. Uh, using double Cassidy's for like with Lone Star uh, for PvP or PvE is just really fun. They do a lot of damage, and if you want to use something a little bit different, again, this thing with Lone Star is uh, is absolutely insane. It's really fun as well. So, you know, pick this thing up if you want to try it out. The only thing you want to do is get rid of Capable. Uh, go for something like Deadly, Unforgiving, even Vicious if you want. And once again, this thing will be a melt machine. Going all the way down, you want to check out this magazine. This one is actually not the best, but it's something that uh, you know you guys can use if you are new or you're coming back to the game and you don't have a good one. This one's decent, uh, so it comes with 115.50% magazine size, 4% critical hit damage, and 4.80% rate of fire. I do think you're missing like one or two bullets from this magazine, uh, but besides that, it's pretty good. It has critical hit damage, which is pretty good uh, for SMG builds and SMGs. Not really the best with ARs, you kind of want critical hit chance on your magazine with an AR, but, you know, it is what it is. If you are missing a good magazine, if you're new, if you're coming back, as I said, pick this thing up 100%. Heading upstairs, you want to stop at the Advanced Weapon Avenger, still at the base operations, and the only thing you want to check out from him is this Enhanced PP-19. Uh, what it comes with is 22% critical hit chance, 272 gear score, and for the talents it has Ferocious, Vicious, and Hurried. This honestly is a really good pickup for a defense build if you want to use a defense uh, kind of build for PvE. You could also use this for PvP if you want. You would have to get rid of uh, Ferocious, go for like Deadly um, or Responsive. But besides that, it's an awesome pickup for a defense build, um, especially with the new global event that's out right now. And also uh, some of the legendary missions, you can use a defense build with this weapon and just absolutely shred. So again, this is located as a advanced weapon avenger. The final person you guys want to talk to in the base operations is his Dark Zone Gear Avenger upstairs. So what he's actually selling is a pretty good prototype stamina mod. This is actually a 265 stamina and 3157 health mod. Now honestly, this one's pretty good, although the stamina isn't a god roll, it, it is 2% two, uh, 2 from a uh, maxed out mod. It's still pretty good um, if you are making like a tank build, like a nomad build, or just a really high kind of stamina build and you want a lot of health you want to be very very tanky this mod is perfect for that as i said it's not a god roll but it's very very close so if you're missing this if you want a good health stamina mod 100 percent pick this thing up the autumn's hope safe house is next on my list and what he's actually selling is yes another mod but this time it is a prototype performance mod that is a two percent post critical hit damage mod this thing is pretty good um it is a maxed out mod so if you guys are going for a high damage build for pvp for pve you have to use a pulse with this which kind of sucks um, but if you're already using this if you pop these mods on you're going to be doing so much more damage with your crits uh, whenever your pulse is active so again if you are interested in this mod check out this venture if you're looking for a really good pve mod you want to check out the dante's run safe house he's actually selling a four percent damage elites mod with 188 electronics yes unfortunately it does come with electronics but it is a four percent so if you guys are making a lucky tactician uh, kind of build for PvE with your sticky bombs and your secret mine, something like that. 
this mod can help you out. This mod is very, very rare uh, to find, especially a 4%. So even if you're not going to use this, I would recommend picking this, picking this thing up, putting it in your stash, and just saving it because, as I said, you really never know when the next one is going to be sold. The Special Blueprints Avenger at Kim Clinton is next on my list, and the one thing you want to check out from him is this extended magazine blueprint. Again, this is the same case as I showed you guys with the previous blueprint. If you are doing multiple builds, if you don't have a good uh, magazine with like critical hit chance, rate of fire, uh, high magazine size, or critical hit damage, whatever you want, whatever you need, I would recommend buying this blueprint 100% instead of wasting your time farming and killing bosses and, and you know opening caches. You could just have the blueprint on your character, craft whatever you need, and just be set. Moving on over to the Special Kuma Avenger, still at Camp Clinton, the first thing you want to check out is this AUG. Now what it comes with is 19.50% critical hit chance, 276 gear score, and for the talents it has responsive, vicious, and hurried. Again, as I said in the previous uh, kind of Avengers, if you want a good defense weapon, this so awesome pickup, it has responsive, it has vicious, which are both very beneficial, and also it has hurried which is going to make you reload a lot quicker, and with a defense build, that's something you want. But if you don't want to use this weapon with a uh, shield build, then you, you should get rid of uh, Hurried, go for something like Unforgiving or Deadly, and this weapon will be still very, very good. A few spots down, you want to check out this Refreshed Mask. What it comes with is 1265 firearms, 4% health on kill, and 14% burn resistance. Honestly, the only thing you really have to do is get rid of the health on kill, Go for something like Critical Hit Chance or EDR, and this will be an awesome pickup. And last but not least, you want to check out this Rapid Chest piece. Uh, it comes with 1,261 firearms, 4% all resistance, 16,027 health, and it also has 55% ammo capacity. And the same thing with this one, as, as with the mask, you want to get rid of the major attribute for this one. It is the all resistance. Uh, go for Skill Haze, Enemy Armor Damage, EDR, something like that. And this as well will be an awesome pickup. The Cavern Safe House is next on my list, and this guy's actually selling a Ballistic Shield Damage Resilience mod that is 5%. This kind of goes well with all the different weapons I showed you guys for the defense builds. This one's pretty good uh, for, for the shield build as well. This is the mod you always want to use on the shield build for PvP, for PvE. Um, it is maxed out, so if you don't have this already, if you are missing this mod, 100% pick it up, and again, it is located at the Cavern Safe House. Up next, you guys want to visit the Madison Stand Safe House, and this guy's actually selling, yes, another mod, but this time it is a prototype electronics mod that is a 264 electronics and 3208 health. Uh, this one's pretty good as well, it is not a maxed out mod or anything like that, but it's pretty good if you are making a little bit of a hyper build or, you know, anything like that, and you are in need of a uh, electronics mod with a lot of health, this is the perfect fit for you. So again, check out the Madison Stand Safe House for this mod. The final open world Avenger you guys want to check out is the Firewall, and again, he is selling a mod. This time it is a 261 stamina and 2885 skill power mod. So this one's kind of like similar to the one I just showed you guys. Instead, this one has stamina with skill power, so whatever mod you need, if you need this one, this one's pretty good as well. It is a little bit on the weaker side, I guess you could say, uh, because it doesn't even have 3000 skill power, and it's not even that high with the stamina but you know if you need this if you desperately need this and you can't find better ones again it is located at the firewall avenger getting straight into the dc the first person i guess want to talk to is the east 53rd shoot checkpoints and the first thing you want to check out is this backpack this is actually a specialized backpack that comes with 1152 electronics 13,065 health and 14 percent disrupt resistance this one's pretty good as well if you guys are making a high-end such exotic build if you are making like a 5-piece dead eye and you want to use a specialized backpack or a 5-piece uh, banshee with a specialized backpack, whatever you want to use this on, it's pretty good. The only thing you really have to do is get rid of the electronics or get a little bit higher, um, but again, that just really depends on your build, so pick this thing up if you are interested. The final item you want to check out from this Venger is the C79 scope. This one comes with 18% critical hit damage, 2.50% stability, and 5% optimal range. This one's pretty good because with a Dead Eye build and a C79 scope on your SVD or any other kind of sniper, you don't want critical hit chance, you don't want headshot damage because they're kind of useless. And this one doesn't have any of that, it does have critical hit damage, which is the main thing you want. Uh, so this one's very good, it also has stability, optimal range as well. Uh, so both of them are, are going to be kind of helpful with that sniper build, 
Uh, so this one is a very, very nice pickup. Going all the way down, you want to stop by the east, 31st Street checkpoints. And what he's actually selling is a pretty nice vigorous chess piece. This one comes with 1266 firearms, 15,935 health, 4% all resistance, and 46% ammo capacity. The only thing you want to do is get rid of the all resistance. No one uses that. It's pretty useless in the game. Uh, so get rid of that. Get something like EDR, skill haze, even enemy armor damage if you want to use this for PvE. Um, and, and this will be pretty good. The firearms is pretty high already. Um, so, you know, this is a, a really decent pickup. And uh, if you're missing a good vigorous chess piece, check out this venture. Last but not least, you want to stop at the 5th Avenue checkpoint. And he's selling, yes, another mod. But this time it is a 2% Pulse Critical Hit Chance mod. Once again, you have to use a Pulse with this in order to kind of use this mod. Um, but if you're using a Pulse already, you want a lot of Critical Hit Chance on your ARs or, um, you know, SMGs, LMGs, whatever weapon you want to use. If you want a lot of Crit Chance or if you're going for like a max Crit Chance build, these mods are great for that. They're going to give you, a, you know, a lot more damage and stuff. So, but anyways, that is it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. I respond to all the comments, and again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.